Hello everyone, this is Rose. Today's topic from the Book of Life is Common Ground. New Generations versus Old. Bridging the two together to find a common ground. Let's take a look at this short story from the Book of Life. Doing traditionalists and baby boomers generations passing on wisdom from one generation to the next used to be a common formality that was noticeable within the new generation through innovation. The new generation would acquire the wisdom from the previous generations then build upon that knowledge to create a new innovative momentum. The transformation bridge collapsed between Generation X and its Millennium's counterparts, which are Generation Y and Z. For some reason, for some reason, these last two generations, Y and Z, <clears throat> refuse to learn and grow upon the wisdom passed down from the previous generations. The baby boomers are clutching their pearls as they observe generation Y and Z navigate through life without partaking or utilizing wisdom passed down from the previous generations. Some of life's most important areas that is greatly of concern to the mature generations, the older generations, are as follows. Childbirth, for instance. The wisdom of being sanitary in the care of newborn children were passed on to the next generation. The new gens was taught to keep their newborn home for the first six weeks of their lives, as well as to not have visitors over to their homes to see the newborns in order to protect the baby's undeveloped immune system from outside germs. However, this new generation takes their newborn babies within a couple of days from coming home from the hospital. They take them out to show their friends and family members their new baby. They take them out to show them about, to show them around. They allow their newborns to be passed from the arms of one person to another. They just passing the baby around. I want to hold him. I want to hold him. Kissing him on the cheek. And the parents allows this. The, they also allow people to smoke around their newborn, play loud music, around their newborn sensitive ears. There hasn't been any scientific proof. Of course, the mature older generation knows this, that there hasn't been any scientific proof as to a negative effect from the change in sanitary values. However, the baby boomers are still clutching their pearls. Also, the wisdom of being sanitary in the care of newborns was taught in the type of baby bottles to purchase, how to clean the bottles, as well as which detergent to purchase for cleaning baby clothes. The mature older generations believes using four to six ounce glass baby bottles in the first four to five months it helps in 
measuring the right amount of formula the baby is to have in one feeding as well as it helps in warming warming up the milk inside the bottle by sticking the glass bottle in a few, for a few minutes in hot water take the bottle out the refrigerator stick it in some hot water shake up the milk in the bottle you got warm milk also Yeah, also using glass bottles, it helps in cleaning the bottles by using a self-cleaning sterilizer for glass bottles. So there's a purpose to using glass bottles. The new gens are advised to use plastic baby bottles only when the baby is old enough to hold its own bottle. The new gens are advised to not use regular dishwashing detergent to clean the baby bottles and to not use regular washing detergent to watch the baby, wash the baby clothes and to always wash the baby clothes separate from the household clothes. However, in order to save money and time, the new gens refuse to buy the special laundry detergent for babies as well as a milder dishwashing solution for cleaning baby bottles. They also refuse to wash the baby clothes separate. The new gens, they order food to be delivered at the hospital in honor of their friend having a new baby. They don't think about the delivery person may not be allowed to go to the patient room because they are not a family member or that the patient may not be in position to come down the elevator alone to pick up food that was delivered or that the patient might be on a special diet because their blood pressure is up. Once again, the baby boomers is clutching their pearls. Although there hasn't been any scientific proof as to a negative effect for not following the advice of the wise ones. Another area the mature generations are concerned about education. Education is very important to the mature generations. The mature generations will work hard their entire life to save for their children's college fund. Even if the mature gens were not educated beyond high school, they wanted to make sure their kids have an opportunity to attend college. Using wisdom, the mature gens would advise the new gens why school is important, as well as having a college degree. The new gens would start college with one major that supported their parents' wisdom. However, they would change their major several times during the course of school. And on some occasions, dropping out of school without completing the degree requirements. The new gens prefer training on the job as they go because they are unsure of what it is they want to do in life. They do not commit to any structure routine like being on time, showing up every day to work, whether you feel up to it or not. They do not care if anyone is available to cover their position in their absence. 
They always have the, it's an employer problem attitude. They do not care if they get fired. Usually, they quit before they get fired. They do not think about, I am a grown person who has financial responsibilities. They just wing it as they go. The mature generations come from the time period when permission had to be asked and approved before taking a day off work. Otherwise, they got fired. Also, the mature gens had knowledge in manually balancing the financial books, writing and typing letters without spell check and auto correction, as well as giving change back without the aid of an electronic machine telling them how many pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, and dollars to give in return for the change. Without computers, the new gens will be lost. Once again, the mature gens are clutching their pearls. Another area that the mature gens have a concern in, in is privacy. The wisdom of privacy is taught to the new gens. The mature gens do not believe in sharing your personal information to your friends, like your social security number, the amount of money you make, especially if you're hourly, all your family information, like your parents' age, birthplace, birth dates, and how much money your parents make or have in the bank, your parents' educational levels, especially if they did not go to college, as well as your family secret recipes. Oh, that can start a fight. The mature gens do not like for their kids to have others in their house if they are not home. No one, I repeat, no one is ever allowed to go in their parents' room without permission. The new gen is carefree. They keep no secrets from their friends. All their business, as well as their parents, they tell it. Not only do they tell, they show and tell by showing documents that should be stored in a safe for security purposes. There has not been scientific proof that says what they doing is incorrect. However, there has been proof that identity theft is on the rise. But this does not keep the new gens from opening their damn mouth too much, sharing valid information that should remain private. Nonetheless, the mature gens are clutching their pearls. Another area a concern for the mature gens, personal property. The wisdom of protecting your personal property is taught to the new gens. The mature, mature gens do not believe in allowing everyone within your friend circle to drive your car or to go make a run in your car as the new gens call it especially when you are still making payments on the car and your insurance only covers the name of the person on the insurance policy. The new gens do not grasp this concept of wisdom from the mature gens until someone has an accident in their car 
and the insurance company refused to pay because the person driving the car is not covered under their policy. Or until someone who just wants to make a run gets pulled over by the cops and an illegal substance is found in the car. Not only is the person making the run arrested, the car is impounded at the expense of the owner. If the owner cannot come up with the impound fees, the car is sold at an option, auction and the owner is still responsible to make the monthly payments to the creditor. Now the owner wish they would have listened to the wisdom of the mature gens. The mature gens share wisdom in not lending expensive tools, especially if they are your work tools, without a signed note from the borrower taking sole responsibility for the care of the tools. And if something should happen to the tools, the borrower will replace the tools with like quality tools. The mature gens advise the new gens to take a picture of the borrower holding the tools. Make sure they're holding the tools they're borrowing. Take a picture and place that picture with the note you had them sign that they are being accountable and responsible for returning these tools back to you in the same manner that you gave it to them. And if they are not, they will re replace it with quality material tools. So you take those two things, the picture and the note, secure it in a place that is safe, that you will remember where it's at in case it's needed. On many of occasions, the mature gens watch the new gens do exactly the opposite of the wisdom, wisdom given to them regarding their personal property. When the new gens come crying to the mature gens for help, the mature gens clutch on their pearls as they sip on a glass of wine with nothing else to say other than lesson learned. Also, another area the mature gens are concerned about, credit. The wisdom of protecting your credit is taught to the new gens. The mature gens do not believe in co-signing for anyone other than their spouse. The new gens do not see any harm in co-signing for someone who hands them a few hundred dollars up front to sign on the dotted line. Until the borrower stop making the monthly payments and the creditor goes after the co-signer for the balance owed. The new gens runs to the mature gens for help after telling the creditor, I did not purchase the item. I only co-signed. Nonetheless, the creditor sues the co-signer for their money and now the co-signer is stuck with the bill for, for a product they do not own. And the borrower and the product are nowhere to be found. Also, the mature gens do not believe in someone selling them a car by taking over the person's monthly car payments after advancing to the person, the seller, a few hundred dollars in cash up front in exchange for a promise, a promise of a pink slip once the car is paid in full. Oh no, the mature gens don't believe in that. They don't believe in that. The mature gens understand the car cannot be placed in the name of the person 
who's taking over the payments because it has a lender on the pink slip and the lender holds the title of the pink slip and money is still owed on the car. This means the insurance on the car has to be in the owner's name. Therefore, to add a new GN name, the one who's taking over the payment as a second driver, means the new GN will be paying a higher insurance premium in addition to the car note of a promise from the car owner that they're going to turn over the pink slip to them once they pay off their car. The mature gen can clearly see purchasing a car that has a lender on the title is a high risk purchase that can cost the purchaser a lot of money. Nonetheless, the new gens see it as a fast and easy way to purchase a car. However, when the new gens come crying to the mature gens for help, the mature gens clutch their pearls as they sip on a glass of wine with nothing else to say other than lesson learned. Another area of concern the mature gens have is in morals and values. The wisdom of treating others in the same manner as you want to be treated has been taught to the new gens from the mature gens. The mature gens are constantly lecturing the new gens about having respect for elders by treating them in the same manner that you want someone to treat your parents and yourself. The mature gens advise the new gens to politely go around an elderly person who is walking slowly in front of you. Do not bump into them to push them aside with your shoulder because you are annoyed with them slowing you down. Be patient when you have to stand in line behind an elderly person. It might take them a little longer for them to get their thoughts out or across to the person helping them at the counter. It's not going to make them go faster because you are shouting offensive derogatory remarks at them. Nothing troubles the mature gen worse than the new genes being rude and disrespectful to elders. The wise mature genes know and try to convey to the new genes that you are boxing with God when you attack an elderly person. Because the Bible declares in Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 be not deceived God is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth so shall he also reap so when this new gen is out sowing disrespect to elderly people that shall they reap the mature gens let the new gens know if you say you don't believe in what the Bible says, it doesn't take away from the truth of God's word. Doesn't matter if you don't believe. It's not going to change God's word. It's not going to take away from the truth of God's word. Because his word is a living word. And as you keep living, you will see the truth of his word. The mature gens encourage the new gens to do as declared in James chapter 1 verse 5 of the Bible. If any, any of you, if any of you lack in wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally. He gives you wisdom, just ask him. 
also the mature gens express to the new gens. I understand at times you get frustrated with us mature gens speaking wisdom to you new gens because you feel you know everything there is to know. Yet, you seek the mature gens help when you are in trouble. Just know that the mature gens are obeying, obeying the word of God as stated in Colossians chapter 4 verse 5. Walk in wisdom towards them that are without redeeming the time. Let us mature gens let our tired please know that us mature gens are tired of having to clutch clinch clutch our peril, pearls clutch on our pearls we're tired of having to clutch on our pearls because you new gens rejects the wisdom of us trailblazers and therefore have to learn through catastrophic, unfortunate circumstances caused by your lack in wisdom. So once again, us mature gens would end this wisdom, this lesson on wisdom to you new gens by saying, seek God, ask him for wisdom. If you don't want to get it from us mature gens, Ask God because you do need it. You don't know everything. We want you to be blessed. We do it because we love you. And we want to give you the best of our life. The wisdom that we give you is the best of our life. Because we went through some hard times. We went through some horrific events. And through that wisdom was gained. And so when we're giving you wisdom, we're giving you the best of our life to try to prevent you from experiencing the same heart pain and hardship and horrific events that we experience. So if you choose not to take it, that's okay. But don't come running back to us for help after we freely gave it to you in the beginning. Turn and ask God to give you wisdom if you don't want it from us. Mature gents. Be blessed, new gens. Click the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. Be safe. Be blessed. Peace, people. And remember to click that thumbs up button.